Let's talk about the self-care tips that have made me millions. Come on inside, come on. You don't have to stay out in the cold, it's okay. We're in Cabo. I'm in Cabo, San Lucas right now. And at this gorgeous hotel room, I love how white and bright and airy this particular room is, but I really wanna go into, hence like the robe, like the behind the scenes of what does self-care look like when you're building a business. So we're gonna just like pop outside and we're gonna talk about it. Okay, so let's talk self-care tips that have made me millions. The first thing that I attribute so much of my success to, especially over the last four years, is going to bed every single night at 9.30. I literally have a sleep mode on my phone. For those of you who have an iPhone, recommend this. My phone turns off at nine o'clock. Now I can technically get back in if I want to, but the nine o'clock reminder is like, oh yeah, that's my permission. I need to start getting ready for bed so that I can be in bed by 9.30. This allows me to wake up anywhere between 4.30 to 5.15 and feel great. I've still almost gotten a full eight hours of sleep and sleep is so important, but for me, for so long, I just lied to myself, to be honest, and told myself, oh, I'm just a night owl. That's why I don't get up early in the mornings. That's why I don't work out. That's why I don't have all of these productive habits is because I'm a night owl. And I spent all the way up until I was 26 believing that there was such a thing as a night owl and that I couldn't go to bed before 11 o'clock at night. I made that change when COVID hit. I was like, all of a sudden I have no excuses. I need to be working out. I need to be eating the right things. I need to be doing the right things because every excuse that I could have possibly had about travel and not having the right ability to do these things went straight out the window. And so this 9.30 bedtime has given me so much confidence because it's changed my identity. And as soon as you change your identity, all of a sudden you're like, wait, what are the other identities that I'm holding on to that don't actually serve me? And so this is a self-care tip, but it translates into every other area about my money mindset, about my contribution from a professional standpoint, my contributions to my husband as a wife. 9.30, game changer. My second self-care tip that has made me millions is I work out every single day. Now, maybe not every single day, it's normally like five to six days a week, but I lift heavy weights at least three to four times a week and I'm in the gym on average every week between five to six days a week. This workout, this discipline of showing up, doing something that I don't wanna do, I was in there this morning, and I was like, I just don't wanna finish this workout. I, there's no part of me that wants to continue to do a glute workout. I've already been here for 45 minutes. Maybe I'm just gonna cut it short. And every time I start to think about that, I'm like, wait a second, I'm not the person that quits. I do not quit. I told myself I was here to work out. What's another 15 minutes? I'm not gonna start rationalizing my goals. I'm not gonna start justifying or negotiating. Oh, maybe I don't wanna do this. No, I wanna work out. I have physique goals, is that a weird word, physique, physical? I have like goals, I wanna be able to have a six pack. I look at Kelly Ripa's arms and for the last five years of my life, I'm like, I want Kelly Ripa's arms. Like there's just different things where I have these goals. Hopefully there's like arms that you could put in this video as like a graphic, she has amazing arms. And it keeps me just so incredibly disciplined and it reminds me every single day. The first thing I do in the morning is I go work out and it reminds me when I'm doing hard things later, I've already worked out. I've already lifted really heavy weights and I didn't let myself down in the morning. So therefore I'm not gonna let myself down. I'm not gonna let my team down. I'm gonna feel good about myself. I'm gonna look good in my clothes, which is actually self-care tip number three. I love to set my outfit out the night before because I love clothes. I love. The idea of being put together and having a stylish look because it helps me show up more confidently. And when you're in the game of business, when you're in the game of making money, how you feel about yourself, the way that you perceive how you look, how you're showing up to meetings, how you're representing yourself, for me, it's a game changer. It matters to me. I know there are some people out there who are like, oh, I can just wear a t-shirt and jeans and I feel just as confident. Good for you, bro. Like, I love that for you. That's just not the case for me. I have this image of who Natalie Dawson is and how she shows up to a meeting, the way she represents herself. And part of that is putting an outfit together that I love, that I feel confident in, that really represents who I am and shows and gives a little flair of 
what I bring to the table that's different from any other person who might be there. And it's a representation of that energy that I wanna bring so that when I have a great outfit on because I've had the discipline of choosing the outfit the night before, I'm just like me and I contribute and I'm all in and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm sold on myself just by ensuring that I have the right outfit. Now, here's a little trick with this though. You'll notice it's not just like, oh, I have a great outfit out and that's like a self-care tip. It's that I pick it out the night before because here's what used to happen. I used to not pick it out the night before because I would get busy doing other things. I wouldn't want to think about the day. I just put it off. And then the next morning I'd be rushed because I'd be working out and I'd be getting my makeup done and just like finishing all the things to get the morning started right. And so I wouldn't pick out a great outfit and then I'd feel like shit throughout the day because like I just didn't feel good. And I was like, oh, my shoes don't really go and I didn't get to finish the look and oh, I, th I thought I was gonna wear this with something else. And it really just didn't set my day off right. So doing it every single night is my own self care to say, hey, Natalie, you take, you take yourself seriously. You take how you look seriously and make it be a representation of you and you don't have to feel bad about it. Another self-care tip that I use every single day, this is a game changer, I wash my face. I wash my face every single day. I don't do it in the morning, I know some people do this two times a day, that's like overkill for me, but then again, I'm not trying to sell some skincare products. So my guess is if they're actually telling you to wash your face two times a day, they probably sell skincare products. If I start selling you skincare products and start telling you you should wash your face twice a day, know that I'm lying because I'm gonna tell you right now, for the last decade of my life, I made a commitment to wash Hello my face there. every single day. See, here are the notes of all the things I wanna to talk to you about. I'm on my final point. Wash your face every single day. This is just that nightly discipline. I look at myself in the mirror every single night after I wash my face. And this is something that I started doing when I made the decision to drop out of college. I will never forget, I was in my college house. I was living with five other girls at the time in Portland, Oregon. It was rainy, it was dreary. I had this gray room with like all of the college like target sheets and I was just sitting in my bed like with, on this foam mattress. I don't know if you guys remember the foam mattresses. They're like these really thick pieces of foam. And I was just sitting there distracting myself from my homework and I was watching TED Talks. And there was a TED Talk that Steve Jobs did where he was addressing, I believe it was the Stanford um, graduating class. And he said, if you look at yourself in the mirror for too many days and you're unhappy with what you're doing, make a change. And that just like struck me. And the next day I convinced every single professor to sign what they needed to sign so that I could drop out of school and I was a full ride academic scholarship. So it was just like, it seemed ridiculous, but I knew that I wasn't doing the right thing. So now, every night I wash my face off with makeup. I wash my makeup off of my face with skincare, which I have a whole skincare regimen, but not the point. That's not what makes me millions. What makes me millions is once I've washed my face off and I like look at myself in the mirror, I ask myself, like, am I still doing what I love to do? Am I, am I happy with the direction that I'm going? And when you can be really honest with yourself and when you can take that moment before you go to bed to say like, hey, are we on the right path? It changes everything. And instead of getting anxious or instead of having all of this expectation or judgment, I just, I'm honest with myself. And I really take that moment to say, Natalie, do we need to change things? And if I do, then I make the change the next day, but I feel so much better being honest with myself. And that all starts with taking my makeup off every single day. There's no mask, there's no hiding, there's no like all the fanfare of the social media and all the stuff. It's like, hey, are, are we on, like I'm looking at you, are we doing what we're supposed to be doing? And I can ethically and honestly, most of the time say, yes, we're doing exactly like, good job, keep up the good work. But there are times more, frequent than not where I'm like, uh, I'm not really loving what's happening right now. So then I fix it. And the fixing is what actually gets you closer to your goal. So if you're looking to make more money, if you're looking to make a change, if you're looking to have this new thing happen inside your life, how can you actually start taking care of yourself, doing things that you need to do every day so that you feel good about yourself? What are your self-care tips gonna be and recommendations that you really own and that you take as a priority so that you can be ready for the other people in your life that need you, so that you can be ready for all the things that life is gonna throw at you. So I would love to know what your favorite self-care routines are in the comments, let me know. I'm always open to adopting new ones that could help me out. My routine is not perfect, but it works for me. I wanna know what works for you. Let me know in the comments. And don't forget, don't forget, I still got your attention. Subscribe, if you haven't subscribed, 
subscribe and share this video. If you found value out of this video, just give it a little share. Just it's gonna take five seconds, share it. That's how this channel grows. Appreciate you. Looking forward to seeing you on the next one.